Hey guys, this is Cliff Rack over here at J-Man RV Sales. I wanted to show you about this Tracer. It's a 2850. This is a 2015 brand new camper. I want to show you a little bit on the outside and also show you a little bit on the inside. So if you come around here, I want to show you right here, you're going to get your power tongue jacks. Very nice feature. You're going to just hit a button right here. No, no worry about cranking or anything like that. You're going to get two 20 pound propane tanks fully filled for you. We fill those propane tanks for you as well. And we give you a brand new marine grade battery. Real nice. You can see you got a fiberglass front cap on this. They did a two thirds cap, or excuse me, a three quarters cap. And the reason why is because if you're going down the road, you want to get this diamond plate rock guard, especially if you're going down dirt roads, because those uh, rocks and stuff will throw up on your camper. It'll hit this rock guard and not chip it like if you had your cap down lower, it's gonna chip your cap. So this is a real nice setup right here. If you come around here, this uh, tracer is made by Primetime. Primetime is a company that's a derivative of Forest River. Primetime's big thing is to give you a camper that has more bang for your buck. So in a smaller price point, you're gonna get some of the stuff that you wouldn't get in that price range. Uh, in a fifth wheel, you're gonna get something called a convenience center, a lot of fifth wheels. Travel trailers, you don't always get that. Well, here at Primetime with this tracer, you're gonna get that convenience center. If you look around in here, you're gonna see you have a full-on convenience center. You have your fresh water connection, city water connection, satellite cable hookups. You even have a light here so you can see black tank flush, hot and cold outside shower. Everything feeds up through here. You can shut this and lock it. And of course, right here is your battery disconnect. One good thing about a battery disconnect is if you're done using your camper for a while, uh, some of the stuff that's inside, like your uh, stereo system, possibly your LP detector, it runs off your battery. So it could eventually run your battery completely down. Well, if you're not using it, a lot of times people will just unhook the battery. Well, that can be kind of a pain sometimes. If you have a battery disconnect, you just hit a button, it kicks your battery off, that way you don't have to worry about your battery going dead. Very nice feature. Another thing about this is you won't see any plastic latches holding this door up because it's on a magnet. These are all magnets here and they have slam latch doors. All you have to do is let go and it shuts just like that. Very nice feature. Again, something that uh, you don't always get with travel trailers. And again, you don't have to worry about breaking those plastic clips with these magnets here. So it's a real nice setup. Walk around back around this way. You're gonna see you have a nice big power awning. This thing is just a touch of a button. It comes in, comes out. Of course, you get your nice big LED rope light there. Really nice setup. Two marine grade speakers outside so you can actually listen to music outside or if you're playing your DVDs. Of course, you're gonna have a uh, hookup for your TV out here. Real nice setup. And of course, pass through storage. You saw the one side, this is the other side. If you look up, up here too, you're gonna see it has the aluminum frame. So real nice, everything's real aluminum. You have your cable hookups and your 110 for your TV right in here. Everything's real nice in this camper. You're gonna be able to uh, uh, have a bigger camper and have a little bit lighter weight than if you had a wood frame camper. So of course, again, the magnets right here on all the baggage doors. If you come over here, I wanna show you this uh, door right here. As you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take this and give it a good push. It didn't shut, it didn't slam shut. The reason why is the friction-based door hinge. Again, the plastic latches that you latch your door here with tend to break because you don't know you have it hooked up and you try to slam it shut and it breaks those things. With the friction-based door hinge, you just put it where it want, where you want it. It takes up, it'll hold up to a 25 mile an hour wind. Real nice setup right here. Coming right here, you're gonna have an outside kitchen in this model. You're gonna have a nice big mini fridge right here. Plenty of room to hold all kind of drinks in here. More cubby storage here. You got a light so you can see at night. And you're gonna have a two burner cooktop right here as well. All hooked up through a quick connect propane. Goes take right out of the propane bottles in the front. Well, now you're gonna see you got a nice big slide on this side. And of course, you're gonna have a grill and a swing arm for your grill right here. So you can actually have a grill you can grill out all come standard with this camper see you have a ladder here because this is a fully walkable roof uh this has a 12 year warranty on the roof you can get up here with this ladder and get all your roof maintenance done you can check your slides for debris before you run them in a lot of nice setup right here i want to talk to you a little bit about this slide here as well the slide walls a lot of times with the campers you can give have a little give for the slide wall well they uh they 
they do things a little bit different here with prime time with this tracer you can this is solid this is very solid the reason why is because they they uh, pinch roll all of their walls there for a good seal plus it's going to have one of the highest uh, r factors in insulation you're going to get an r52 in the roof the floor and the front cap and r9 throughout everything else plenty of insulation in this camper so let's go on inside and check out the inside real quick i want to show you around there as soon as you walk in here you're going to see the two opposing slides here really opens it up here got plenty of room going to have a nice u-shaped dinette so this actually turns into a bed makes a little bit bigger bed than you would get if you had the regular booth dinette very nice setup with this of course you have your nice big tv one of the reasons why people don't really care for um, uh, TVs in the back like this, some, some people don't, is because they miss their big bay window. There's a big bay window here and your TV is blocking it. If you want to watch TV, that's one thing, but sometimes you want to sit out there and just look at the scenery. Well, with this right here, you're going to be able to do both because this, all you do is hit a button and this goes down. And then you don't have to worry about missing out on all the beauty there is outside. Very nice setup there. Over here, you're going to have a nice big couch. This couch is actually uh, residential furniture. Really nice about that. Um, you're not going to have the RV furniture. It sits really well. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I sit down in this thing, and man, I'm pretty comfortable. I kind of don't want to get up right now. It's, it's that comfortable right here. Lift this up. You're going to have your hide bed in there. Pulls out to a nice big hide bed Going to the kitchen here, you're going to see the stainless steel package and all the uh, appliances a real nice upgrade and of course you open this up and you're going to have the eight cubic foot refrigerator it's going to be plenty big enough it's going to be bigger than your standard refrigerator plus this is on the auto because it's gas and electric so if you have this thing plugged in it's going to go straight off electric but let's say you unplug it to go somewhere it's going to run off your gas you're not going to have to worry about your refrigerator getting hot again going to have the nice big three burner cooktop with the direct spark ignition so you don't have to sit there and light this. You can just turn a knob and it pops open for you. And of course, you're going to have a, a pretty good size oven here. Plenty of room to cook biscuits in the morning. Maybe some uh, frozen pizzas at night. Going to have a nice island here for more counter space. Going to have a split sink here. High rise gooseneck faucet right there. And of course, you got a really nice sink cover that if you flip it around, guess what? You have a nice cutting board for all your prep work. Over here, of course, you do have the stainless steel microwave. This one has a full-size dinner plate, so it's got plenty of room. You're gonna be able to use this microwave for about anything you want. More cabinet space all around, all throughout here. Even in the island, you're gonna get cabinet space. If you come around here, look at this. You're gonna have drawers here. All these drawers are real wheel construction on steel roller bearing guides. Hold up with more weight than the normal. Uh, drawers would so and they do have a kind of stick feature to them so you don't have to worry about them flying out during the road and of course you're going to have storage underneath this as well if you're walking around here to the breakfast nook area here got a nice little uh, place to maybe put a coffee pot or a crock pot because of course you have a 110 outlet right here got the nice blue led lighting here to give it a nice look look to it speaking of lighting if you look up here you're going to see these are all LED lights. Really nice about the LED lights is it does help out in three different ways. Number one, it's going to use less energy. So if you are running off your battery, it's not going to pull as much juice off your battery. Number two, the bulbs last about 10 times longer than the normal battery, or excuse me, the normal light bulb. And number three, probably my favorite feature, doesn't get nearly as hot. So when you're using your AC, your lights aren't working against you when you're using your AC. And speaking of the AC, it has a 15,000 BTU AC unit. Biggest you can put on a camper, all set up through, and it's all ducted throughout, so you don't have to worry about uh, just having it in one spot. It's going to go through the whole camper. And it also has a really nice heater. What's nice about this heater is it's run all through the floor, and it has a duct in the underbelly because this has a heated and enclosed underbelly, so you're not going to have to worry about uh, your pipes getting cold. It's completely enclosed, and there's a duct in the actual uh, belly, so hot hot air is actually being pushed in there and keeping everything warm very nice feature 
You got them right here. You're gonna have more pantry space here. Got a nice big storage in this area and then more pantry space here and here. Plenty of room in there. And let's go into the bathroom. I wanna show you the bathroom area here. You got a nice big shower right here. Gonna even have a skylight there. So if you're you know over six foot, you're still gonna be able to take showers real easily in this. And this has the nice glass right here. It's a real nice setup here with this glass shower door here. So very nice. And of course you have your hot and cold sink here and more cabinet space, maybe curling irons or blow dryers anything like that and of course you have the foot flush toilet so it's a little more sanitary than having to mess with the uh, hand flush coming around here into the bedroom if you'll see right there just open that up you got hanging storage on both sides right around here you're going to have closet space and hanging storage on both sides and of course closet space here underneath your bed you're going to have more storage and it's on a gas strut so you can just leave it up like that and you have plenty of storage down there now of course you're going to have more closet space even right here look at this closet space right here guys you got lots of hanging storage you got lots of drawers here really nice setup it's got a lot of stuff and even has a swing arm to put a second tv here in the bedroom with your cable connection here and 110 outlet so guys, this is the 2850 Tracer. This is uh, 2015. If you have any questions at all, I'd love to talk to you about this. You know, get you guys in a really nice camper. We have over 250 on the lot, so I know we can find you the perfect camper. Uh, just call Cliff Rackley, Cliff, just like what you jump off of, here at JMAT at 888-526-2887. And I really look forward to earning your business. Have a great day. Bye-bye.